If you've got tight shoulders and you're lacking range of motion, stay tuned today because I've got a 20 minute follow along shoulder rehab mobility workout that's gonna help you improve your range of motion and help you stay pain free. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's workout. I'm Frank. I'm a certified personal trainer and fitness nutrition coach. I love helping people feel, move, and look better through mobility, training, and nutrition. And in today's workout, I literally just got this request this morning at the filming of this video. I've got a follow along 20 minute workout for you that's going to help you loosen up your shoulders. So if you've got an intense shoulder or even GERD, which is glenohumeral internal rotation deficit. Now we're going to cover that uh, stretching portion and one part of the workout and basically we're going to try and stretch our arm across a lot of times you're lacking that internal range of motion but even if you're just lacking mobility in general maybe your shoulders it feels like it's frozen or you can't raise it up that high we're going to go through a handful of movements today to help loosen it up but real quick go ahead and click that link down in the description and also down in the comments section click the timestamp if you want to just go ahead and skip straight to the workout so today as you can see i'm going to roll a little bit of b-roll here i've got a lot of different uh, mobility tools here, but strictly for today, we are literally just going to use A, a foam roller, and then B, you have an option of water bottles. I'm sure you've got a water bottle, or you don't even need to use a water bottle. You can do body weight. And again, if you do have some dumbbells, maybe some light dumbbells, these are some fives, but you could also use some twos or threes. Now you do have options. I'm going to go ahead and throw all the links down in the description if you would like to use one of these double peanut massage balls for one part of the workout when we're massaging our chest and shoulders more than free to do so but for the purpose of today's video first half of the workout i'm going to coach you i'm going to guide you through everything i'm just going to be really using this foam roller and the water bottles to keep it basic so you only need two pieces of equipment it would help if you have a bench and a yoga mat but you could also just do these on the ground I like having this bench here because it's going to allow me to get a little extra range of motion on a few of the exercises and it's just a little bit more comfortable to stretch. I can pull my arm further across. So without further ado, we've got 20 different movements. Well, actually we're going to have about 10, eight to 10 or so, but we're going to be repeating everything twice. So the first portion of the workout, we're going to be doing some massage, okay, for the first four minutes. And then the next six minutes, we're actually going to be doing some movement, mobility, stretching exercises, and then we're going to repeat everything again, okay? So each move is going to be 45 seconds long. We've got a 15 second rest break in between. So as always, make sure you get your water bottles. Let's stay hydrated and we're going to smash today's shoulder mobility workout. All right, let's get 15 seconds on the clock. Let's get a little bit of water because we always want to stay hydrated. Always assist in blood flow circulation and keeping body loose. So we are going to start off with our foam roller. I got the vibrating roller today and we are just going to massage the lat. So start off and just kind of lay right here. Okay. We're going to go through a little bit of internal and external rotation. Now you're wondering why are we massaging the lats if we feel our shoulder well the lats connect into the shoulder they insert underneath the armpit they run all the way down to the lower back but also they play a huge role because you have your rotator cuff which has like four paper thin muscles again it's all surrounded through a little bit on the back side and in the front but all these tissues connect together so a lot of times your lats get tight around the shoulders forward so by massaging these lats we're just gonna really help open up and get more blood flow and circulation so you can have better range of motion in your shoulders. So if you can, like I said, start off here in the beginning, try and go through extension, pull that arm up. You might even lift the hips up a little bit if you can. I'm gonna go through a little extra here and then just try and raise it. If you can't, just stay there, okay? So we got 45 seconds of work, a 15 second break. So I'm gonna switch to the other side. I know I'm going a little extra in here, but same deal, other side, we're just lying down. Again, if it's too intense, just start off right here, just keep a little pressure in there. Go through internal and external rotation. And then what we can do is we can try and go through extension and see if we can reach that arm up. If this is all you got, that's fine. We're gonna improve, okay? If you have the ability to, try and use this foot, push it into the ground, lift the hips, reach the arm. Oh man, that really opens it up. And just mash onto that lat. If it's too much, stay here. If this is too much, you can bring the arm inside here and just get into that shoulder, massage that 
lat a little bit, just kind of rolling it back and forth. But again, we're looking for range of motion. You can even pull this arm across. It's gonna be one of those best stretches, especially if you have the, the GERD, that internal rotation deficit. Pulling this arm across, we'll get to that in a little bit here. So just nice pull, nice stretch, just looking for improved movement. Now, like I said, we can use this roller. If you do have one of these double peanut massage balls, I do like this better. I'm gonna use this in the second half of the workout, but we're just gonna use this roller to start. Go ahead and place this roller down onto the edge of the bench, and then we're just gonna massage. So literally, I'm kind of getting onto my pecs and my chest a little bit. If you're a female, probably move this roller towards the edge so you can kind of get onto that shoulder. And we're literally just massaging the front of the shoulder here and I'm just loosening it up. I can also kind of get onto the top just a little bit. We're just looking to get a nice little mash. I may even stand up on the bench, mash that shoulder a little bit, because again, this is gonna help massage out those tight tissues. This is called self-myofascial release, your fascia being your tissue, and we're just trying to open it up. So I'm just massaging through here. Like I said, females, you want, you're not gonna roll over the breast, but you're just gonna get onto the shoulder. And again, I'm just trying to just open it up because sometimes there can be impingement in the front part of the delt, so we want to address that, okay? Now, if you do have the double peanut, I'm just going to go ahead and show you that real quick. We're going to use this one. I like it a little bit more because I can kind of get into, it has these nice little grooves in here, and I can kind of get in there a little bit differently, so get the vibration going. And so that fits comfortably right into that shoulder joint. Oh, man, that's tender. Oh, so... We're just massaging in here. Sometimes with this vibration one, it's nice. I'm gonna link everything down in the description. So if you want one of these, just click that link. This is a, a, a three speed charge, a vibrating double peanut massage roller. But I'll literally just sit here and I'll move my arm, I might stretch it, I'll massage it. The vibration really kind of helps loosen up a lot of those knots. And I'm just massaging there. You can also, like I said, get up a little bit, get onto the back side of the shoulder, apply a little bit of pressure. That way you can modulate like either none or a lot, how much pressure you're putting on there. But generally these shoulders get tight. So right now I'm just looking for increased blood flow and circulation, just massaging. All right, so we've massaged both of the shoulders. Now I like doing that first because of the fact now we're preparing our body for movement. We're getting blood flow, we're getting circulation. Now we can open it up. Like I said, if you do not have any dumbbells, just use water bottles or even body weight. So we're gonna lie back. All right, these are our lying goal posts. Arms at 90 degrees, all right? I just have my feet up. I'm just gonna try and drop the arms back. All right, drop the arms back as best you can. And again, we're looking just for that rotation. Even if you don't have any weights, you don't need it, we're just gonna move it down and up. Watch the elbows for moving down and up. We're not doing chest presses. Elbows are at 90 degrees, and we're just dropping arms back. I'm trying to keep those elbows in the same place and let these water bottles, or if you don't have water bottles, just your hands, just try and let them fall back and then we're gonna come back up. All right, we're dropping these back, trying to get a nice little stretch, and then coming up. Again, it doesn't take much weight. You may start off and you won't even need any weight if you don't have as much mobility here. So I'm just kind of letting this hang back, and then just nice movement back and forth. All right, next move, we're gonna go through external rotation. I do not like getting cables and moving them in because that creates bad posture and form, in my opinion. So I like doing external. So we're gonna just stay seated. You could do it standing too. Keep the elbows glued into the side of the body and we're just gonna open it up. So we're bringing these in and we're opening. Again, I'm not moving my arms all over the place. I'm here and I'm out. I got my elbows tucked into the side of the body like they're glued in and I'm trying to get that external rotation and you're, you're at the scapula here. You're opening it up at the scapula and opening up the shoulder joint. So I'm just literally opening, even if you could stick your chest out a little bit and pinch the shoulder blades just a little bit. We're doing external rotation. All right, keeping the weights light, water bottles or body weight, 90 degrees, and we're just opening. And just going through some repetitions here, like I said, everything is just 45 seconds long, 15 second rest break. So as you open, go through extension, Try and get that a little bit more, all right? Next move, again, you can do this body weight, all right? We're gonna do those goal posts again, but now we're gonna do these seated. You could also do it standing. Lying on your back, we're pulling the arm back. Staying seated, we're pulling it down instead of back. So we're here, and now we're gonna try and drop down. Arms at 90 degrees. Watch the wrist from bending a lot, keep the wrist straight, and then we're coming back up. This is like an uncomfortable move sometimes, so go very light. Start off body weight, then add the water bottles, then you can add some heavier dumbbells. And I literally, I never go above five, seven and a half, ten 10 pounds max if you're a little bit more advanced because we're just looking for movement here. So my elbows are at 90 degrees. I'm just bending and dropping and then rotating. 
Again, just go on light, because this is an uncomfortable move. It's almost like you're in an awkward wrestling position or something. So, wanna be careful, but again, you wanna get your body used to going through these uncomfortable positions, because heaven forbid if you ever fall or you hurt yourself, you want, you want your shoulders prepared for trauma, right? So we're moving that down and up. Cool, cool, cool. All right, next two moves, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this lying uh, shoulder stretch. This one's gonna pull across the lot. This is probably the best stretch you can do if you do have GERD, the glenohumeral internal rotation deficit. So we're just lying. We're gonna pull from the tricep and then pull this across. We're gonna dynamic stretch. So I'm gonna rest, relax. I'm gonna pull and then stretch. Watch from the back over rotating, okay? If you actually have a therapist or someone or an assistant, someone that can push your lats and keep this scapula down, and then pull from the shoulder without getting rotation, you wanna feel this nice pull. If you feel the pull, the pull through the back of the arm, great, because that's gonna be a nice stretch. If you pull from the elbow or sometimes too much from the wrist, I feel, you don't wanna feel the top, right? That could be an impingement, and if you ever feel an impingement or a sharp shooting pain, please stop. All right, go ahead and massage that area, and that's why we massage the area first, just to help loosen it up. So again, when I come through here, we're looking to create that stretch in the back of the shoulder because when we're trying to improve range of motion, these shoulders get tight. And that's why, again, I started off using the foam roller, using the double peanut massage ball to loosen it up. So we're doing the same thing on the other side. We're lying back and I'm just pulling. I like dynamic stretches because they're just more efficient at helping you prepare for movement. So you take it to mildly uncomfortable and then you relax and back off. Nice pull, nice stretch, not on the elbow, just below it on the tricep, pulling it across. Again, trying to keep my chest, my shoulders, trying to keep all this still. I don't wanna rotate the body. I wanna keep my, my back down onto the ground. I wanna feel that pull from behind the shoulder. Now, sometimes you can just hold the stretch, but like I said, dynamic stretching, you can almost loosen up your muscles 160% more just by going through these movements because it's gonna prepare your body for movement and help you increase that range of motion. Okay, now last move here. Now we're gonna work on some shoulder stability, all right, and a little bit of strengthening. So we're gonna start in a knee plank. If you're a little bit more advanced, we can go to full on arm plank, okay? So we're gonna start in a knee plank with the hands down. If your wrists are tight, you can go on the knuckles, okay? So knee plank, we're gonna go up, out, and back. Alternate, stay on your knees, up, we're gonna bring it out and back. Play around with it, make this movement your own. We can go thumbs up, we're raising knuckles up, palms under, same thing on the side. Knuckles up, thumbs up, palms under, same thing back. Pinkies back, knuckles up, palms up, thumbs down even. We're just looking for increased movement. So pick one, just go front, back, and side. So we're coming to the front, we're coming to the back. We're going to the side. Great, so that is the first half of the workout. We're gonna do it all again. I'm gonna do a few different things. We're gonna repeat all of these movements again, just like we did from the beginning. So we'll cue up the music and we are just gonna roll right through it.
five, four, three, two, one. Thank you.
five, four, three, two, one. I hope you enjoy that workout, another one in the books. And hey, Steven, man, thank you so much for recommending me to do that because this was actually one of the missing links that I needed in this follow along workout series. So again, thanks for tuning in. If you're brand new to the channel, again, my name's Frank, certified trainer, fitness nutrition coach. Please go ahead and click that link here, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss any of my latest content. Now I'm gonna have all the links down in the description. So again, all you really needed for this workout was the foam roller and a couple of water bottles or literally just a foam roller and you can do body weight with everything. But if you'd like my favorite ones, honestly, now I generally like using the charge foam roller for most of my general stuff. It is a little too hard for some people these uh, little ridges here are supposed to mimic like elbows and palms of a massage therapist running that around your body. So that can be a little intense. Um, this one is a little tiny and honestly it is a little overpriced, but it is a good tool in your tool book. This is the uh, trigger point to charge the vibrating foam roller. So it has four levels of intensity. I usually max it out, but that little extra vibration kind of help. Also, you'll see down in the description, you can get the regular trigger point foam roller that works well. This one is by far one of my favorite tools of like 2021 mobility. It's a three speed charge vibrating uh, trigger point roller. It's a double massage peanut, but I'll use this on my triceps and my elbows. Actually, I do have another follow along workout utilizing this ball where I am massaging that. So if you got some elbow pain, some hip or glute pain, I have a whole workout. You can click that uh, little card right there and then you can do this whole workout. But this thing is great because of the fact that I can get into my shoulders, I can get into my chest. Now also, you can also go to the store and just get a tennis ball or any kind of like softball or a hard ball. Um, this was one of the first hard balls that I bought from Rogue Fitness many, many years ago. I don't have this one linked, but I'll put a link for this one. Um, this works well too, I was using that. If it's a little bit too much, you can get a soft tennis ball and just massage that area. Um, any kind of mobility tool, I buy so much of this stuff because it really helps me loosen up my body. It's just like another tool in your toolbox, like I'd always say. There's something for everything. So if your shoulder hurts, I'm generally using this double peanut to help massage it. If it's too intense, use a tennis ball. I might be using a foam roller or something like that. So again, prioritizing your shoulders is super important because when I tell a lot of my clients, when you're working out, your shoulders are your default for everything and your traps. Imagine like you're gonna save something to your computer, guess where it goes? your desktop probably, right? If you do anything upper body, your shoulders and your traps get involved if you're not conscious or thinking about it. You're doing a push up and you're over rotating your shoulders, you're gonna get your shoulders and traps. You're doing a bicep curl, bad form, shoulders and traps. Doing a pull up, you're supposed to stick your chest out, relax the shoulders. What do a lot of people do? They pull and they shrug. So your shoulders like get involved with everything. And that's why it's so important to nurture them. And even if you don't choose the workout, I tell my clients like, if you're not gonna do anything, at least do mobility. Do mobility, do some sort of massage, do some yoga, improve your range of motion. That's why if you look, I'll have a, another playlist here. You can do my follow along mobility workouts. I'd honestly rather most people start off and do that than anything because I don't want you to feel any pain. Like being in pain sucks and trust me, hopefully I make it to 90 or 100 or 80 years old and if I do, what kind of quality of life are you gonna be living? That's why we need to do mobility workouts just like this so we can stay pain free, we can move well, feel good, look good and perform at our best. So again, thank you so much for tuning in and I can't wait to see you watching some more of my other follow on workouts. See ya. I keep on working, got purpose and worth. Music's my cure and this world is my purse. Get rid of this curse with every reverse. Of course I've been hurt, but I'm having much worse. Leave me alone, get out of my head. Walk out the opinions until I am dead. They all go to speak, but you listen instead. Listen some more and you'll cease to regret. I keep on working, I got it on track. You gonna see my name up on a flag. I sell this shit and I'll never come back. I keep this bitch on the line to attack. Never look back. I make a record like crash. Top of my bracket, I smash. I'm like a pack. I'm about to stack it like cash. It's gonna